millions of searches which happens on our site every month. So they actually consolidate that entire data and come up with some ideas on what the clients are searching for, on what users are searching for on our website. Accordingly, we plan out the shoots that we need to do. And then the next, next step is uh, uh, to prepare the storyboard. Uh, we have got uh, uh, creative directors who actually do some kind of sketching and uh, who take out the reference shots and we plan out like say how that shoot would go. Then the another step is the uh, arranging of the entire uh, production part of it in which we need to coordinate the models, location, makeup artists, stylists, photographers and everybody. There is a complete team of people involved in every shoot. So uh, once that's done, once the shoot is done, then there is a process of post-production in which we need to uh, retouch those, those images and we need to uh, uh, do a lot, lot of editing on those images. And then the next step is keywording in which we need to give keywords to those images so that people can actually search for. Because uh, uh, there are so many images uh, that out of the search engine, if, if, even if somebody wants to search for say, uh, family at home watching television, then also images should pop up. So that means we need to give at least 50 to 60 keywords for each and every image which is there on our site. With the spotlight on contextual photography, ImagesBazaar.com manages 50 to 60 shoots in a month according to user search and preferences. Self-funded with a couple of lakh rupees, the venture clicked with its users from the very beginning and in three years of its operation, ImagesBazaar.com's revenues have taken flight to 6.2 crore rupees. Investing up to 80,000 to a lakh rupees on every shoot, ImagesBazaar.com sells its digital snapshots on exclusive or non-exclusive right spaces for anything between 5,000 to 45,000 rupees. But has the current slowdown hit business or are agencies actually using more stock images to keep costs down? We thought that uh, we need to tighten our belts like everybody else in the market. But uh, uh, it, it, it actually happened uh, completely opposite of what we were thinking. What happened was as and when this recession started picking up, more and more of clients, they slashed their advertising and marketing budgets. And rather than going in for an assignment shoot, which used to cost them around 5 lakh rupees or 10 lakh rupees, they have gone in for stock photography for which they need to pay anywhere between 10 to 20,000 rupees a shot. So we are actually getting some benefit out of this recession. That doesn't mean that our revenues are going up, but there are more and more of new clients that we are getting in. And things are kind of stagnant since last few months. And we are looking at a major shift uh, down the line as and when the economy picks up. So does ImagesBazaar.com have what it takes to impress our panel of experts? What I really like about this innovation is it is something that hasn't been tried before in the Indian market, but it's something that is so obviously a niche for which a huge market does exist because it's providing uh, something that advertising companies and even corporates want. Uh, it, through this company, they can get it quicker, they can get it cheaper, and they can see what they're paying for. So it obviously becomes a very compelling proposition. Uh, I think the one thing that I would caution them on is I read that uh, they're not going to try and get user-generated content, and that I think is a great idea, uh, but there was, it looked like they were going to do it in a separate company. That I would say to them is not a good idea. Build all the value in one company. Photographs from the Image Bazaar archive can be seen in the IDEA, Maruti Suzuki, Airtel, and ICICI Bank ads. With more than 1.5 million page views every month and 40,000 registered users on the website, context is key even while reaching out to clients. Its call center services regional clients in their local dialects transacting more than 2,000 calls every month. So what's the future calling for this venture? So now our plan is uh, not just to keep on building content. Obviously that is on our agenda. But what we are looking at, we are looking at... Uh, launching another site which is almost ready. We are working on that site since last more than one year. The name of that site is shotindia.com. On that site, anybody uh, with a camera of at least six megapixels, he need not be a photographer, he, he need not uh, be a professional in this, in this field, but they can just go onto that site and upload their pictures. And uh, if something gets sold, they will get 50% revenue out of it. So in that we are targeting uh, uh, at least uh, 2 million images within next one year. 
uh, with a user base of around 1 lakh contributors who can actually contribute their images. So it's called user-driven content. An accomplished photographer, Sandeep holds a world record in professional photography, organizing a 10-hour photo session of 122 models and clicking 10,044 different shots. We wish him the very best of luck for his future ventures. Well, Sandeep, go out there and continue to click away. We wish you the very best of luck. Time for us to take a quick commercial break, but when we return, a man who truly believes that life is all about second chances.